Are you thinking about getting student loans to get through college because your parents don't have enough money to pay for your college? Don't feel bad. Most students are in this situation. Most students don't have parents who can put up an extra 30 or 50 or even $70,000 per year to put their kids through college. But what if I told you that there is a way to avoid student loans altogether? It's true. Contrary to what you may have heard, it is totally possible to get a college degree without getting any student loans. Stay with me till the very end because I'm going to give you step-by-step -step details on how to do this. It's really not that complicated. This method works even if you have no scholarships or grants. Here we go. Step number one. Apply to and get accepted to an in-state public university. Why? Because in-state public universities charge state residents a lower tuition than out-of-state students, so you get a discount right from the start. Step number two. Commute to college from home. Why? Because it will reduce your college expenses by almost, if not, by half. Pack your lunch and commute. If you can take the bus, even better. Step number three. Take only the minimum number of credits, which is usually 12, so you have time to work part-time. Find a job on campus or nearby and work 15 to 20 hours per week, and more during breaks. Save up this money to pay for your tuition. Step number four. Ask your parents to pay for whatever is left over, which shouldn't be much at all. If you follow these four steps, you can graduate with a college degree with no student loans. Now, let me address the objections that usually come up when I share this with parents and students. Objection number one. We live too far from the college. This is legitimate, but if you mean that school is an hour drive away, that's nothing. If you live several hours away, I understand. In this case, you may consider attending an online college. There are many, and you can study from home with no commute. Some are less expensive than community college, you'll get the same degree, and you can finish college way earlier than attending a traditional school. Objection number two. I want to get the full college experience so I want to live on campus. Whatever you may mean by that, there is really nothing you lose by commuting. You can still get the full college experience. When I was in college, I lived in the dorms for two years and commuted for the last two. The only difference was where I slept. My bed was way better than the dorm beds. Objection number three. If I only take the minimum number of credits, I won't graduate in four years. So what? Nobody in the real world cares if you took four years or four and a half years or even five years to graduate college. The important thing is to get your degree without loans and do well in school. If you have other questions, share them in the comments below. I'll reply to you personally. Now for my plug. I'm CK, founder of CK Education and creator of the highly effective CK SAT prep system. If you need to raise your SAT score, and nothing else has worked, learn why students wait for months on my waiting list to begin their one-to-one -one online SAT studies with me. I'd love to help you too. You can learn more at cKeducation.org. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch my other videos on my channel as well. I'm sure that they will be helpful to you.